Hey guys, it's Isaac DVD Reviews here again, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video. And as you realise, I'm actually talking this time. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing my favourite movies of all time. And basically, this is these are my favourite movies that I really, 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 really like. And so, let's start the collection off with the Sixth Sense. This one is just a really entertaining thriller with one of the best twists, I think. With, with one of the most quotable lines ever. I see dead people. And yeah, I love this film. I thought it was really good. And... Yeah, it's really entertaining. It's a lot better than Unbreakable. Which I didn't think was that good. But yeah, still. The Sixth Sense is a good thriller. With a brilliant twist. And watch it if you haven't watched it. Next one is Step Brothers. Now this one. I just thought this was really funny. Out of a few Wolf of Hell films I've seen. This is the best one by far. And yeah. It's really funny. Like there's one scene. Where one of them says he's going to put his testicles on his drum set. And he actually gets out his penis and puts um, 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 puts it on the drum set. And it's really funny. And the boats and hose bits are really funny as well. And so, yeah, guys. Please watch Step Brothers if you're a fan of comedy. Because it's really funny. And it's really good. And I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Next one on my list is Hot Fuzz. Now, this is my favourite of the Cornetto trilogy, which is a trilogy that Simon Pegg and Nick Frost did. There was three movies in that trilogy. It goes Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz and The World's End. And this one is my favourite. Shaun of the Dead and The World's End are good, but nowhere near as good as this one, in my opinion. Because this one absolutely rocks. It's a cool police film with a good twist. Yeah, it's a very good twist. And quite a few badass action scenes. And a little bit of good comedy mixed into the mix as well. And so, yeah. So I recommend this movie. I recommend you watch it. Hot Fuzz. It's one of the best. It's my favourite out of a Cornetto trilogy. And, yeah, basically. Next one is The Equaliser. Now, this one is one of my favourite action films because it's very badass. And this one is way, way better than the sequel that it got. It had a sequel called The Equalizer 2, obviously, and it just wasn't very good. But this one kicks ass. Denzel Washington kicks ass. I mean, he tortures somebody in a car, and it's really cool because he, like, ties them to the wheel and 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 he likes and he like puts the thing on the thing on it like gas or something like that I can't remember but yeah and it, and it, and it's really cool and he also saves a girl and yeah this is a really cool action movie it's like the climax of it is in a warehouse and it's really cool it's cooler than like the rainy city climax of the Equalizer 2, which wasn't quite as good as this climax. And so yeah, so the Equalizer is a really fun action film. It's a brilliant revenge flick, and yeah, I love the Equalizer. It is one of my favorite movies. Next up is one of my favorite horror films, and it's Hereditary. Um, I just think that this film is really good it has brilliant acting it's absolutely fabulous acting actually it's so emotional in places and deals with grief and trauma and all that and it also manages to get under your skin and be a bit scary too and this is a very dark film and it's very good i must say it's one of the best films i've seen yeah 
So, if you're a fan of horror and you haven't seen this, go check it out. Hereditary, Tony Collette is one of the best actresses. And, yeah, they're all good actors in this film, but particularly Tony Collette. Especially one of the scenes where she deals with grief, which I won't really spoil for you if you haven't seen it, but, yeah. Next one on my list is, this one's hilarious, American Pie 2. Um, I thought that this was a really funny film. It has lots of good jokes, has a great, a great bit, a great part about lesbians and, like, this, these two women and the boys want to see them kiss and all that. And it's really funny. And, yeah, basically this is a good film. It's much better than, well, it's better than 1 and 3, which were decent, but this one is the best, in my opinion. Because it's very funny, often, live very funny. Funnier than American Pie 1 and 3. And so, yeah, if you haven't seen any of the American Pie movies, or if you've only seen the first one, then I recommend you check this one out. American Pie 2, it's a hilarious comedy. You're going to love it, I bet. And yeah. Next one on my list is Knocked Up. And this is one of the funniest films I've ever seen. Along the list with films such as Step Brothers and American Pie 2, like I just showed you. And yeah. So Knocked Up is very funny. Often very funny. It's one of the funniest comedies I've ever seen. If not the funniest comedy I've ever seen. It has lots of good jokes. And they always land. And it's really funny and cool. Seth Rogen's hilarious. Um, and yeah, this is a film about a woman who who's getting pregnant. And it manages to be a hilarious movie. With some jokes that go a little bit over the top. But yeah, it is very funny. I recommend that you check this film out. Knocked up. I have the two disc special edition. So it has two discs in it. And. And there's a deleted scene. I think it's on disc one actually. But there's a deleted scene. And it's like. It's really funny because it's. This guy and it's talking to his girlfriend about bro about mountain and he's saying and he's saying some really funny things but some really dirty things and it's a brilliant deleted scene I love it I thought it was a hilarious deleted scene it shouldn't have been cut out of a film because it was very funny that scene and yeah next one is probably my favorite movie and this one is Us. And yeah, so this one, this one has like doppelgangers in it. And it's from Jordan Peele, who was the writer of director of Get Out. Which is another good film. But it's nowhere near as good as that one. And yeah, basically so. What makes this movie brilliant, guys, is the horror action in it. The action in it, which is kind of horror action, obviously, because it's a horror film, is blazing. I mean, the action in this film is absolutely non-stop, and it's a absolute thrill ride. It's one of the best films I've seen. And, yeah, this is an absolute thrill ride. And it manages to be quite scary as well. And it's very entertaining. And it demands repeat viewing, of course. Despite that lead review on the cover. So yeah, this is Us. And this is probably one of my favourite movies I've seen. This is a brilliantly entertaining film it's better than a lot of action films for its endless endless stream of action which is a scary scene at the beginning 
then there's a 10 minute pause and then it's an endless stream of horror action and doppelgangers running wild and it's more action packed than an action film I think and it's very 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 worthy of you watching I think you'll like it you might find Get Out better but I find this film much better than Get Out this is probably my favourite film actually so yeah Us this, this is a brilliant film I love it Please check it out. It has loads of action. Um, and I mean loads of action. You'll be so entertained. It'll be like you almost can't breathe because of how much horror action there is. Brilliant film. Recommend you checking it out. Next one is It Chapter 2. And this movie only came out last year. Which was 2019. And... Yeah, so, what I find this movie, what I find good about this film is that it's like a near three hour thrill ride, and it's really cool. It deals with some really scary stuff as well, as Pennywise. Like, it deals with, at the beginning, minor spoiler alert, it deals with a homophobic attack, and... It's quite frightening because I've heard it's based on something that actually happened in the hometown of Stephen King, which I think is in Maine. And yeah, it's based on the person, the gay person who was actually killed. And yeah, this is, but this is an absolute thrill ride. It's scary. The mirror room scene is scary as well with the girl and he eats children in it and it's really cool. This is a really entertaining three hour thrill ride at the length of 169 minutes. And I recommend that you check this one out because it's awesome. It's one of the best films I've seen besides Us and Knox Up and the rest of them. And yeah, so I recommend that you check out It Chapter 2 because this is an absolute banger of a ride. It's full of scares and it's full of thrills in the space of three hours. And it's quite fast-paced film when you lengthy out to three hours. Yeah, it's fairly fast. And yeah, guys, so... This is one of my favourite films. I love it. I love it way more than the first one, which was alright. The first one was more like a 3 out of 5 for me. Because it was scary in places, but it wasn't that brilliant. But this one is more like a 4.5 or 5 out of 5 from me. And so, yeah, guys. So. I'm just going to. Go sit on my bed, because it's getting quite uncomfortable on the floor, you know. So, I'm going to go sit on my bed and I'm going to go do some honourable mentions. Now, my honourable mention for my favourite movies is the John Wick trilogy. And, yeah, guys, so, the John Wick trilogy, it's really cool and entertaining and John Wick has a lot of action and it's a great revenge tale and it's really entertaining John Wick 2 is a very gory film and it's and it's very good John Wick kicks a lot of ass John Wick chapter 3 has one of the best endings I've seen and it's a brilliant film they're all brilliant films actually so yeah please check out the john wick trilogy if you haven't seen it already because they're very good films and they deserve the honorable mention and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this this review this video i mean and i'll see you guys later bye